Hi guys, happy Good Friday and happy Easter to all of you out there. This is going to be my pickups video for Easter weekend uh, 2011, so let's go ahead and get started. I bought two uh, 3DS games. I bought them brand new. Uh, the first one being Rayman 3D. Yeah, I know I swore to myself I wouldn't pay full price for it, but it's gotten pretty good reviews so far, and I just decided I had a few spare dollars here and there, so I went and bought it. And, uh, Rabbids Travel in Time 3D. I guess this is a straight-up platformer that at first, uh, it looks colorful and bright, and I like a good platformer once in a while. So that brings my 3DS collection up to a whopping 10. I doubt I'll even get to 20 this year, but as slow as they are releasing uh, new games. So, But anyhow, on to my three PSP games. Final Fantasy IV, the complete collection. It's got like two Final Fantasy IV games on there. Just plain old Final Fantasy IV and Final Fantasy IV, the after story. So it's basically... And I think there's a linking story, too, as well. Or the After Years, excuse me. The After Years. And the graphics look good on it. They look like basic 16-bit graphics, but uh, I'll check it out and see. Jacania, The Timeless Land. For some reason, although it's been released for a couple weeks now, it only took until, I think, last week before they actually got it. Uh... Basically, it's a platformer where you could set the time limit for the platformer, and from what I understand, the less of a time limit you have, the more treasures you can find. So, but it's gotten uh, middle-of-the-road reviews, so we'll see how that goes. And last but not least for my PSP, Patapon 3. I absolutely love Patapon. I wish they'd release Patapon 2 on UMD, but you can only get that through download. But uh, I got Patapon 1, and uh, this cost me 19 bucks, and uh, I haven't played it yet, but it's gotten good reviews. And uh, the Patapon series is excellent. If you like rhythm games, it's a great game to play. Uh, it's real fun and quirky, and the graphics are stylish. And I really, really enjoyed the Patapon series. We'll see how this goes. Okay, now for an Xbox 360 game, I haven't bought an Xbox... 360 game in a long time because I found that most console games are uh, kind of overrated by the reviewers. But uh, this is Halo 3 ODST. I got this used for 14 bucks, my local video store. And I've heard uh, from person people I know that it's, it's an excellent Halo game. So we'll see. And now I got uh, two PS3 games. And the reason I was able to get these is because I took five games that uh, I already owned and I went and traded them in the GameStop. Normally I don't do that, but I'm going to start taking away some of the dross that I have in my collections and uh, trading them in so I can get better games, hopefully. And uh, I traded in five games. I traded in a PS2 game called Black, which was a first-person shooter, but it absolutely sucked. Uh, every time you restart the game... You have to start the opening cutscene, which took forever, and you couldn't you couldn't uh, cut through it. And uh, it took forever to kill one bad guy with with one rifle, and just uh, it got boring and old. And I it sucked. I thought it was going to be fun because I love good old fashioned shoot 'em ups like that, but I wasn't impressed. I. Uh, Traded in two Wii games, the first one being Epic Mickey, which I thought sucked. I'm pissed off that I bought it full price in the first place because it's a beautiful game, but uh, the gameplay sucks and it's repetitive and it's just it's just a run-of-the-mill platformer type game with a little bit of uh, painting thrown in there. It's just and the other Wii game I traded in was The Conduit, a game which I hated. Because you try and sit there and shoot the bad guys, and it seems like they only pop up whenever you stop taking cover. Therefore, they're able to hurt you. So that, that really pissed me off. And I sent in two, what I thought, very overrated games. Two games that I absolutely 
hated. I don't know why they're loved so much. The first one being Mass Effect for the Xbox 360. Uh, first of all, it's another one of those first-person shooters that took forever just to kill one bad guy. And two, there was too much of this blah, 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 blah. I'm sorry. When I play a game, I don't want to see a whole lot of talk. If I want to see a whole lot of talk, I'd run a DVD of a film. Uh, but that, that game, I played it for about four hours, and it bored the heck out of me. And I took it and traded it in. It wasn't for, I heard Mass Effect 2 and Mass Effect 3 are better. If they, did they even release Mass Effect 3 yet? I don't know. But the, if I get Mass Effect 2, I'm going to rent it first. And the next game was a PS3 game I traded in called Assassin's Creed. Everybody knows Assassin's Creed. But I thought the controls, the fighting controls were sluggish. And I just felt, I got tired of climbing those stupid towers. The same kind of towers over and over and over again to, uh, to get the whatever was in there but it was like it felt like it was different locations the same towers it just got repetitive to me and old and uh, it's a beautiful game but kind of boring i'd heard the second assassin's creed and assassin's creed brotherhood were a lot better so but i'll be renting those to see what those are like anyhow for all of those games i got to trade in i got 52 dollars worth of trade in so what i did was i got a couple of ps3 games both used the first one being Red Dead Redemption for 35 bucks, and the second game being Enslaved Odyssey to the West. Red Dead Redemption got some outstanding reviews, and uh, Enslaved got pretty good reviews, but it fell under the radar, and the price dropped uh, fairly quick. I got this used, no, I got it new, excuse me, new for 15 bucks. So that that's pretty good for a game that's gotten pretty good reviews and it pretty much fell under the radar so we'll see anyhow that brings my my PSP collection is now up to 330 games my 3DS collection is up to uh, 10 and I really don't know how many Xbox 360 and uh, PS3 games I got because I lost the list that lists all those games so I gotta find those real quick anyhow I want to thank my new subscribers and my new friends. I'm up to 299 subscribers. Maybe if I'm lucky and my videos get better and I actually finish some of the series I promised I'd finish, uh, I'll have 400 by the end of the year. What I'd like to do is sometime really soon is start my 50 favorite DS games in a series. Uh, so we'll see how that goes and we'll be starting that real soon. I'm working on it now. I'm just trying to list them all in uh, order as to how much I love them. Anyway, you all have a great Easter weekend and great happy Passover and uh, happy Good Friday and uh, God bless you. Bye-bye.